Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, you will learn about rights issues. The process of rights issues and their examples and warrants. Let us start with the introduction to rights issues. Many times companies grant shareholders a chance to buy new shares at a discount to the current trading price. Rights issue means an offer of equity shares and convertible securities by a listed issuer to the shareholders of the issuer as on the record date fixed for the said purpose. Instead of going to the public, the company gives its existing shareholders the right to subscribe to newly issued shares in proportion to their existing holdings and that too at a discounted price. The company will also set a time limit for the shareholder to buy the shares. The shares are often offered at a discounted price to encourage existing shareholders to take the company up on their offer. Since a rights issue results in higher equity base for the organization, it also provides it with better leveraging opportunities. Though additional equity is raised, the market capitalization remains unaffected. A company will offer more shares to its shareholders to raise additional money for the company, which is the company's goal. Let's take a look at an example to help us understand the concept of rights issue. Investor A holds 100 shares of company X, which he purchased from the secondary market through investor Z. Company X offers him rights issue in the ratio of 3 is to 5 at 90 rupees per share which is at a 25% discount compared to his market price of 120 rupees each. Thus, A has the right to buy up to 60 shares that is 3 fifth multiplied by 100 shares that he already has for 5400 rupees which would otherwise have cost him 7000 and 200 rupees in the market. Please note that the investor can choose to reject the rights issue if he chooses to. The exchange takes place between the investor and the issuing company. Now that we have an idea about rights issue, let us deep dive into the rights issue specifically in India. A few features of rights issues by Indian companies are noteworthy. Rights issue sometimes work in the favor of the promoters or majority stakeholders. 
in such cases minority shareholders often feel the pressure and therefore sebi came up with the takeover code to safeguard the interest of the minority shareholders promoters of a firm who own or control between 15% and 55% cannot increase their holdings by more than 5% in any financial year promoters who own more than 55% of firm's equity can increase their ownership only via an open offer without triggering the requirement of an open offer the process of rights issue in india would be as follows the issue price should be decided before determining the record date which must be determined in consultation with the designated stock exchange a rights issue should be open for subscription for a minimum period of 15 days and for a maximum period of 30 days the issuer can utilize funds collected in rights issues after the finalization of the basis of allotment if the issuer withdraws the rights issue after announcing the record date it cannot make an application for listing of any of its specified securities on any recognized stock exchange for a period of 12 months from the record date no issuer shall make a rights issue of equity shares if it has outstanding fully or partly convertible debt instruments at the time of making a rights issue unless it has made a reservation of equity shares in favor of the holders of such outstanding convertible debt instruments in proportion to the convertible part thereof let us now look at an example of a rights issue in india in february 2012 fame ad labs issued a rights issue with 2 crore 2 lakh 90508 equity shares aggregating to approximately 90 crore rupees the rights issue ratio was 58 equity shares for every 100 equity shares held by the shareholders as on the record date which was 25th january 2012 the company issued these additional shares at a price of 44 rupees per equity share the face value per equity share is 10 rupees the open market price of the share was 48 rupees thereby giving a discount of 8.3% now that we know about rights let us also learn about warrants now what are warrants a warrant is a derivative product which gives the holder their right but not the obligation to buy the mentioned security that is equity stock at a certain price quantity and future date warrants are issued by the company itself and not by the exchanges warrants tend to have a longer maturity periods than exchange traded options 
the investor pays an issuer the warrant premium in exchange for the right to purchase or sell a set amount of stock at the strike price. When a warrant is exercised, the company issues a new share of stock to the warrant holder and receives the strike price. Also, the firm must issue new shares of stock thereby diluting the claims of existing shareholders. Warrants are generally traded over the counter and are risk bearing securities which are made attractive for speculator and hedges. The holder of a warrant doesn't have any voting rights or dividend earnings. There are two different types of warrants. A call warrant and a put warrant. A call warrant represents a specific number of shares that can be purchased from the issuer at a specific price on or before a certain date. A put warrant represents a certain amount of equity that can be sold back to the issuer at a specified price on or before a stated date. Finally, warrants are often included in a new debt issue as a sweetener to entice investors. Let's take an example to understand the concept better. As we can see, in 2010, Mahindra Forgings issued 73 lakh warrants to their promoters at a price of 137 rupees per warrant which was 28% higher than the market price. Similarly, Bartronics, Philatex India, Vardhaman Politics, DNH Welding Electrodes and Agro Dutch Industries are among the companies who offered warrants to their promoters and other investors. At a conversion price higher than the market price. You have now reached the end of the session. Thank you for your time.